when do you think we're going to see KD on the court? Well, well, look, we saw him in the flip-flops. I wasn't that optimistic. Yeah. You know, I, I told practiced that. in the flip-flops. <laughs> I, I, I'll say game four. You know, obviously they need him. I mean, this team is being held together by masking tape. I mean, re- they're falling apart before. You know, we, we obviously know about KD. Iguodala struggles. Now Clay, Kevon Looney. I mean... And and they they can't force KD out there. You would say, okay, if Clay can't go for game three or if he's hobbled, let's get KD out there. You can't play with this injury Mm-mm. for him as an individual with his free agency coming up, but also for the team. Because if you force him back early and then he get re-injures it's it. It's over. Yeah. So I would say game four, look, they're going to go out there and try to win game three. Obviously, they're going to have this next man up strength in numbers mentality. But you wonder if this could end up being a, look, we're going to lose game three. Because if Clay can't play, mm-hmm. if KD's not back, but let's be ready for the next, what, four, three games or whatever mm-hmm. would be left. You know, four, five, six, seven. So um, this looks like it's going to be a long series. Uh, I would think that to run, we'll find out today about Clay's MRI. Yep. But um, one thing it showed me yesterday when they started – uh, DeMarcus Cousins, they're not playing. They're not buying into the whole, we, we you know, the ball movement and player movement is better without KD and DeMarcus. It, it is, but they they want their all-star starting five. Right. The fact that they, I was shocked that they threw Boogie Cousins in there again. Right. And the fact that they did that shows you as soon as KD can play, as soon as he's ready, they're going to put him out there. They're not going to worry about what, what the series the or right the rust <laughs> and and I I cannot see Kev, Kevin Durant coming back like Boogie did as far as he's only playing twelve minutes only playing eighteen minutes right I think when Kevin Durant comes he starts immediately as he should and he's like a focal point and he's gonna play close to thirty minutes if not more like that's what stars superstars do when they come back you rarely see them come back and be a role player yeah, build up. Um, for me, I don't think he's going to play. I think this is gamemanship that they haven't ruled in him the out. series. In the series, wow. I, I'm looking at him <clears throat> move around in the tunnel. I'm watching him on the court for shoot around in those flip flops. Skip, that doesn't look like a guy that's going to be ready to play Game Three. I agree. That doesn't look like a guy that's going to be ready to play Game Four. Mm-hmm. Now, I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just looking at the way he moves. Right. Skip, he don't even have on gym shoes. He's not even shooting. Think, uh, uh, as Steve Kerr said, "Well, you know, I, I think he's shooting on his own." He's throwing the ball because he doesn't want to get up on the toes to shoot a shot. And that's, that's true. The thing. And so I'm like, and y'all say he's going to be ready in two days? Mm. Nah, nah, I don't see that happen. Mm. Look, I believe that if they force him out there, there's a greater risk. Whatever the injury is, Skip, I don't, give, I don't know if they're giving us the full extent of the injury. But I believe if they force him out there for game three or game four, there's a greater risk that he re-injures whatever the injury is. And he has free agency looming. With the Warriors, he can sign five for 221. Or anywhere else, he can go four years at 64, 164. Mm-hmm. I don't – now, for me, to leave $57 million on the table, that's asking an awful lot for a mm. guy. But, Skip, I don't well, know – What if I going to tell you about Anthony Davis and your Pelicans? Mm-hmm. About you're leaving that same amount on the table. Well, that's okay. What, what about Kawhi? Okay. Leaving 80 – you know, if you go all the way back to San Antonio right. – well, have 30 to leave there. Well, here's 50 the to leave is. Toronto. San Francisco is <clears throat> nice to be. They got water. You know what I'm saying? They got Silicon Valley. They got it all. So it's a great place. And and he's mm-hmm. heavily invested. He is. Heavily I don't really invested. know how heavily invested AD is, is in the community in, in New Orleans. But well, he was. Not, he used but that's not here though. We're not talking about that. We don't want. He don't want his smoothies anymore. We tired of smoothies. Uh. You didn't try to seduce him with smoothies. We talking <laughs> oh, about Kevin Durant. I don't Durant. think so. We just try to talk about Kevin Durant. I don't believe Kevin Durant plays in game three or game four. I am leaning toward you on this one. The signs keep telling me no, no, no. He's just, they're just gamesman shipping mm-hmm. the opposition, trying to make him worry about, well, should we prepare or not for him? I don't even know how Golden State prepares for both him and DeMarcus back in the lineup. It's just crazy. Yes. It's so hard on a basketball team. You know, the right. psyche and the right. flow and the, that they were in such a great rhythm against. Portland, obviously, and going back to the last two games against Houston, mm-hmm. and and to throw these two huge weapons back into the offense, and they're both ball dominant. And remember, Demarcus Cousins has been 
among the, I think he finished second one year in usage rate in the league. It's unbelievable. Right. The ball has to go through him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And after yeah. a while last night, it was going through him on every yep. possession. Okay, there's a big game being played above the game. And Kevin won't like that I'm going to say this, but he has to have, as he watches in the locker room, I still don't know why he won't just put on civvies and go down there and just sit on the bench with his teammates and contribute to the huddles or clap his hands or scream something at Drake or, you know, do something <laughs> to contribute on the floor because he just stay. Have you ever heard of anybody just staying in the locker room? I've never seen it before. But he comes out in the tunnel when they're coming up the tunnel at yeah. halftime and after the game. Okay, here's the game within a game, and this is what Kevin won't like. He has to have, watching TV in the locker room, mixed emotions about what's happening because he is human, and you've brought this up, and he took you to task for it, but, <laughs> but he's got to be rooting for his teammates, and then there's this little tiny part in the back of his mind that's rooting against his teammates because his legacy is on being. the table, right? He's human. And I get it. You know, all your better judgment, your, your, your better instincts tell you, I'm for my guys, and I, I love to see my guys gut it out last night and win that game. But if they had lost that game, it puts you in the power position, yeah, man, yeah, right? Yeah. For me, Skip, I believe if Kevin Durant's playing, the Warriors are up 0-2 anyway. If Kevin Durant's the Warriors healthy, are up 2-0? Two -oh. two. Yo, the, the, yeah, yeah, they're up. The Warriors would be up on the Raptors. Okay, all right. They would be absolutely Okay, up. so if he's playing, so you're saying it would just be business. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah nobody, four or five yeah, games. Yeah, no, yeah, nobody would yeah, care. Yeah, it'd just be yeah, another. yeah. Yeah. Look, there's no question that this series has a lot more juice. Because Just and, and again, you, you hate because it's unfortunate for KD to because hurt. KD's not there. But now there's really a question: is who's going to win? Yeah, with, which with Clay, wouldn't with, exist with before. Clay, KD being injured, Kevon Looney. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got at some point in time, you can't keep winning final games, Skip, with your third, fourth, with your fifth, sixth, and seventh options playing major minutes. Okay. Which brings us to Steph Curry. And I still say he's also human, and there's a part of him, maybe even a bigger part of him, that does not want Kevin to return because he has his opportunity to show the world, I don't need him. I can still do it. I won two MVPs back-to-back, -back, and the second one was unanimous. And I'll show you. And we talked about this earlier. I'm going to bring it up again. It was so weird last night. Before the game started, he is suffering dehydration. That was strange. It's just strange. When have you ever heard that? A, a guy who's played in, what is it, 108 playoff games and 24 finals right. games? You know how your body works. You know how to get ready for a game. I know yeah. how to get ready for a marathon. You have to drink, 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 right. drink, right? Yeah. It's how you get ready. You have to drink the right stuff and the right amount of that stuff, and he knows what that is. But you also Ooh. don't So you think your... it was nerves? Yeah. But what you don't Like you're, do, you're, yeah. you're just sweating so – and he doesn't even look like he sweats, but, right. but, you know, you're losing water. You're oozing out your liquids. You Go know ahead. when you sweat more? Yeah. When you start to worry, you start to think. Because when you start playing Super Bowl, you didn't say, man, I'm playing the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, man, right. Super Bowl, that's a big, ooh, that's, ooh. that's a Super Bowl. You approach it like a normal game. When you start letting the magnitude of the moment, it's like, okay, KD's not playing. And now it's only going to get worse because guess what? If Clay doesn't play, so now you down to KD and Clay. But if Clay and KD are down, to, to me, there's no pressure on Steph. Really? Or oh, you got to be. Because oh, who won. would expect them to win okay, without but if KD he does, and Steph? If he does. If he does. It, oh, oh no, it, it'd be tremendous. Oh. And, and I'm with – because I've said, look, when KD went to Golden State, I feel like we've been robbed yeah. of seeing this Steph, yeah. right, for the last, we what, have. four years, three four years. years. But, yeah. Like, we haven't seen this know, Steph. But, but my man across the table is making the point, if they pull this off now, Steph could make a case he's a top ten all-time player. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If, if they win – you're talking about without Clay for – Without Clay Even KD? without Clay for just one game. Oh, it, that would be <laughs> – I, How you keep I out can't, of that? as much as I like Steph Curry, I can't imagine they could win this series without KD and Clay. That's what, but, if, but if they do, if they did, it, it'd be it'd be incredible. It, it'd be incredible. But, yeah, but, oh, but but here's the thing: the one thing I'll say about Steph, and this is different from a lot of superstars, he had the juice when they, when Draymond was mm -hmm. texting KD and let's go meet with him. Oh, he could have had it down. the juice when he could have went to Bob Myers and said, "Look, no, we want to do it. We yeah. should have won this year. That's we gave it away. We want to. We don't. You. As great as KD is, we don't Thank need you. it. And he didn't. So whether you think that's a positive or negative, but I I really think he wants KD back. But I, I, but well, doesn't that what? show weakness? That, like 
Okay, I know priority is winning another chair. Maybe in sports. Okay. You know, it's great in, in life. <laughs> the humility, the selflessness. But you notice what, what I'm saying? Now, if KD and Steph, if KD and Clay doesn't come back and Steph Curry loses, everybody will say nobody expected him to win. But I know a guy that played without his second and third best player, uh, and nobody gave him that but benefit nobody, of the doubt. But let's be honest, uh, Shannon. Nobody has put Steph Curry on LeBron's level. Hold on. Y'all keep telling me. Especially back in 2015. Hold on. Y'all keep telling me if Steph Curry gets another title, he might be equal to him, not better than well, LeBron. This is, this is coming up. This is what's been ha happened since then. I'm, I'm, I'm just, and LeBron didn't win the championship. Once, once Kyrie and Ke Kevin Love went down, did anybody expect them to win? Uh, when they I, went I, up 2-1, maybe. I know a guy who was up two games to one without Kyrie and Kevin Love in his house okay. were game four. And some guy named Iguodala just took him out of the okay. game. I don't know what well, 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 okay, that, that, that two time goodness. MVP. I think he had 36 MVP. that yeah. Need to bring it down. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.